Sometimes a bad relationship can be so all-consuming that when we break up with them or the relationship ends, we actually have no idea what makes us happy anymore. So how do we find our own happiness after a relationship ends? That's what I'm talking about today. What often happens in a breakup is that we can tend to forget that we were actually happy before we got into a relationship. In general, in most cases, we weren't always miserable or unhappy. We weren't always endlessly suffering. Usually, we were actually okay. There were things in our life that made us happy. Maybe we had this whole life of our own where we had a lot of things going on and we forget what that was like after being in a relationship. Your mind might be telling you that you were always miserable and the only thing that made you happy was your ex. But that's not actually true, that's just the grief talking. I don't believe that you were never happy before. So just know and remind yourself that if you are experiencing these thoughts where your mind is telling you the only thing that's ever gonna make you happy was your ex, know that it's not the truth. Again, it's just the grief talking. You don't have to believe that. So how do you find what makes you happy other than your ex? Well, you can start by going back to your childhood. Go all the way back, let's say to when you were like four, maybe even six, maybe even eight, 10. What did you like to do then? What made you happy then? Before you had all the pressure to earn a living or to succeed or whatever it is the pressure that you're feeling right now, go back before you experienced all of that. What did you do just because you wanted to do it? Just because you liked doing it? Usually, that's where you can find some of the things that make you truly happy. And if you tell me, well, Lindsay, no, there's nothing. I don't believe that either. Really try hard on this. Go back and try to remember what used to bring you joy when you were younger. For me, when I did this, I remembered that I was a kid that loved to play outside. I loved going in the woods. Where I lived, there was a little stream in my backyard and I loved to sit there by the stream and just listen to the water. Sometimes I put my feet in the water. This doesn't have to be a really complicated thing. It's just remembering what were the simple pleasures that you had when you were younger. Another thing that I liked to do as a kid when I got a little older was writing. I frequently had inspiration to write things, to journal. I had a little typewriter. It was like my parents' old typewriter and I loved just typing things out on that. So I got into writing again. And that was part of what helped me to recover from my breakups and actually to help all of you. I still to this day write. I write a lot of content that I put out there into the world. So if you're like me, maybe you liked playing outside. So how do you translate that into finding your happiness now that you've broken up? Well, you can go back out there and play outside again. Maybe it doesn't look like how it looked when you were younger, but maybe you want to start hiking again. Maybe you want to join a hiking group. You can connect with other people that way and get back to something that used to bring you a lot of pleasure. If you were the kind of kid that liked to play sports outside, well, there's a lot of opportunities for that now. As an adult, you can join a sports league. You can join a gym. There's lots of ways to get that activity into your life. Maybe as a kid, you were a bit more artsy. Maybe you liked to play with Play-Doh. That was your thing. So now what you can do is you can join a club or join some sort of art group where you can use clay. Like you can make things, you can do the pottery wheel, like whatever it is. There's so many things out there that you can do to embrace the things that bring you happiness. I know, I'm just thinking about it right now. Like I actually, I liked to play with clay too. And I know of a place down the road where they have pottery classes. Like it's not that hard usually to find something, an outlet for the things that bring you happiness. So my point here is that pretty much almost everything that you liked as a child can be translated into something that you can enjoy as an adult. Maybe it doesn't look the exact same way, but again, you can translate it. There's probably some version of this thing that you can do now. So the, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I get a lot of messages and I talk to a lot of people who feel very, very lost after their relationship ends. And yeah, it's, it's hard to remember what used to make you happy when you're in just like this ocean of grief. I totally get it. So is this an instant solution? Are you going to like just find your happiness and totally forget about your ex? 
No, no, of course not. You're still gonna miss your ex. But if you can find some of these things and start to do them, then slowly, 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 you will move forward. When you find these things and they just bring you even like the slightest bit of happiness, just, just the tiniest hit of dopamine, that retrains your brain to see that your ex was not the only thing that could make you happy. It reminds your brain, oh yeah, there's other things out there that I can do that will make me happy. Your brain forgets too, but when you start to do those things, it remembers and it forms those new pathways, those new dopamine pathways. So now when you go to do that thing again, your brain goes, oh yeah, oh yeah, I knew I liked that thing. And it brings you more dopamine. And that's how slowly you find your happiness again. This is a big part of moving on, getting that dopamine hit, getting those feel good emotions from things other than our ex. And this is actually a really desirable quality when you're getting ready to go on a date again, when you're ready to start dating again. If you have a lot of interest, if you have things, and maybe even it's just one thing, if you have just one thing that lights you up, that you're really passionate about, that brings you a lot of happiness, that's a super attractive quality. People are very drawn to that. So this serves two purposes. Finding your happiness helps you to move on from your ex and it can also help you to find a new partner when you're ready. You're very attractive when you have other interests because it shows that your life doesn't entirely evolve around relationships. It's okay if relationships are important to you, but when you're well-rounded and you have other things going on, that shows potential partners that you are independent, you are self-sufficient, and that's very attractive. It shows that you have your own interests outside of a relationship, and that's what healthy partners are looking for. They're looking for someone who has other things going on rather than entirely focusing on their relationships. So I have a challenge for you today. Pick one thing from your childhood that made you happy. Figure out how you can incorporate that into your life and start doing it. Let me know how it goes. Let me know in the comments what your thing is and let me know how it's going now that you've started to do that. If you're struggling to move through the grief after the ending of a bad relationship, click here and check this video out. And click here to subscribe. I come out with new videos every single week for breaking the cycle of bad relationships and finding real love. And also, you can check me out on Instagram for daily inspiration. You can find me at livingfreefindinglove.